Hello Aquarius, welcome to your September 2017 monthly psychic tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just going to get right into it because um, I'm behind on everything. As a lot of you know, I've been traveling a lot this summer, so everything's behind. I'm trying to get caught up and, um, and uh, that's that. So let's just get into it for Aquarius here for September 2017. Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius in September? I just heard the word blindsided. Um, intuition. I'm getting the impression right off the bat, Aquarius, that there is something going on in your life where Either you weren't in tune to your intuition, you weren't seeing something for what it really was or is, and either this situation kind of came up and out or to a point and it kind of blindsided you, um, or you might have had a hunch but you just weren't sure and it wasn't coming through clear and somebody was schmoozing you and you took their, their word for it or you gave the situation the benefit of the doubt and it still crumbled anyway. There's something going on here where I feel like Aquarians were misled, comes up strongly here, deceived in some way, maybe flat out lied to, or a lot of like little white lies, or just not disclosing the full truth on something. I am getting the sense of being misled, and um, and therefore you were a little blindsided by something as a result of this. Maybe you got involved in something based on someone's recommendation that it was good or it would be, you know, I don't know, enjoyable or a good something. And, um, so you took their recommendation, you got involved in this thing, whatever it is, only to get there and realize that this is all wrong for you, that kind of thing, or misleading in terms of maybe a relationship or, or somebody playing both sides of the fence, telling you one thing, but doing another or telling you one thing and telling somebody something else. So it definitely feels like there was something that was going on where it's like, just something just didn't add up for you. In some situation, whether this is professionally, personally, or romantically, it depends on which which one you are, which Aquarius you are, what's going on, but something didn't add up. That's what it really feels like, and it feels like you were blocked in your intuition from seeing this thing for what it was, or this person was such a master manipulator that, that you just couldn't see it for what it was. Um, something's going on there. So... I really feel like, and for some of you, this could have been something where you started down a new path and somebody on that path you thought you could trust and they led you astray or they betrayed you in some way. Okay, so this new path could be anything. Maybe it's career. Maybe you signed a contract that you thought was golden and you found out that there's a bunch of snakes attached to it. Uh, maybe you got involved in a relationship with somebody where you thought that this was a soul connection. You thought this person was, you know, possibly the one or whatever, only to find out that the mask came off and they're not who they said they were. Uh, maybe you got involved in, in a business partnership or a collaborative project that you thought was going to be good for you. Or you volunteered for something because you thought either it was going to be good for you or you wanted to do it or you thought the people that you were going to be surrounded with would be a match for you. And you get there and it's like not at all what you thought it would be. So it's all kinds of you know possible scenarios, but I do get the impression here of starting something new going down a new path, turning over a new leaf, writing a new chapter, starting a new relationship, um, where you were trying to basically just walk down a new path uh, of some kind. And there was somebody there who you thought were friend, but they were foe. Uh, others of you, maybe it wasn't like a wolf in sheep's clothing, but it was just somebody who, you know, it's not that bad. You, you can still be friends with them, but they just didn't lead you right or they didn't give you the right advice or they did something that sabotaged something so there's a little bit of that going on I do feel um, that due to this blindsided um, situation there was conflict that came 
with it, if you can even see that, conflict that, that was a result of it. And I feel like Aquarians are kind of standing their ground a little bit. They, you know, they got their defenses up or they feel like they need to protect themselves. I just got a, a strong whoosh feeling here of vulnerability. I feel like some of you were in a situation that left you very vulnerable very exposed, uh, feeling very insecure. And this could be in your feelings. This could be an information that was shared. This could just be insecurity in your foundation because whatever happened had a domino effect. And it's like, you're worried that it's going to affect your foundation, your security, your, your future, affect your work, affect your reputation, that kind of thing. So there is this sense of having to protect yourself right now as a result of, of something, you know, that, that happened over here. Okay. Um, this situation for some of you could have a tail on it. Like I'm just kind of, you know, just this long tail that curls around and twirls and just gets all, if you can see that kind of funky, has this tail on it. Like, like this situation, you might think it's kind of over, but it's, there's a tail on it. You know, there's going to be something still down the road or, you know, a, um, an aftershock or I don't know, but there's something with a tail on it where like, you know, I just keep saying that a tail, a tail, a tail, a tail. Something's going to have to be dealt with even more down the road is what I'm getting. And so a little bit of that could feel out of control for you. Or maybe this person that you're dealing with gets a little out of control. And so now you, you really have to deal with something out of control. So just know that moving forward. Um, because that energy is coming in here and that's predictive in nature. So if you if you protect yourself now, you dot your I's, you cross your T's, you lay low, keep your head down. Don't add any fuel to the fire to this situation. Because again, if it rears its head up down the road, it's, it's going to feel out of control. And it would be worse off than what it would be if you didn't throw gas on the fire. You know what I'm trying to say? So some of you are going to have to get ruthless. Um... I'm feeling a duality here of energy. Some of you are going to have to get ruthless about this situation in order to nip it in the bud and make it go away. Just snip, snip, snip. So you might have to get tough, play dirty, you know, get your claws out, that kind of thing. Some of you. Others of you are going to be dealing with this energy coming at you. So again, it's this feeling of needing to protect yourself and, and everything that you hold dear to you. However, you're not going to be a pushover. I'm really getting a strong vibration here that Aquarians are going to step up to the plate and, you know, they're not hiding. They're not taking a rest. They're not, you know, just trying to disappear and pretend that it doesn't exist. I feel whatever the situation is for you, Aquarius, you're going to step forward and you're going to be proactive in handling it. You're going to try to nip it in the butt before it even, you know, comes to pass, before anybody says anything before, you know, whatever. You're just going to be like 10 steps ahead of the game. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here as far as that. And there is this feeling with that of like, I, you know, it's like you can't wait to do whatever it is, whatever it is that you're going to do. Um, so it's kind of like this thing of, let's say you're dealing with somebody who's crazy. And so you're just going to, you're going to beat them at their game and go ahead and get a restraining order. You can't wait. You feel the sense of urgency. Just get the restraining order, get it done. You know what I mean? I'm using that as a very generic example. But there is this, you know, this feeling of you got to get in there. You got to take the initiative. There's no time to wait. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. In dealing with this situation, cleaning up the mess, basically. And preventing anything else from happening in the future revolving around this. Now, this situation is burdensome. I feel like you're going to be carrying it with you moving forward. However, it's it's not going to be long term. I don't I don't feel like it's a long term thing. I just feel like there's something going on in this situation that goes back to your intuition. Okay, where something needs to be looked at deeper here. I feel like there's something that's missing in this equation a piece of information or or some research or something needs to be uncovered in order to get that final puzzle piece to the picture of whatever this situation is that you're dealing with. And I just don't know what that is, but it almost feels like, you know, they're trying to say dig a little deeper. 
do some more research, turn over racks, think outside the box because there's something you're missing here. And it feels important that this could be the information that you need to rectify this situation or put it to rest or something, okay? So again, whether this is personal, professional, career, um, if it is career, I really feel like Aquarians are going to be stepping up and protecting their career, protecting their reputation, protecting the work that they do. They're not going to let whoever this person is boss them around, manipulate them, blackmail them, intimidate them. No, I don't see that happening at all. I see Aquarius being like, no, mm -mm. this is... This is what I do for work. This is my reputation. This is my work. And I, I'm, I'm feeling plagiarism for some of you. Plagiarism. So somebody might be taking credit for the work that you've done. They might be trying to steal your work, steal your words, slap their name on your production, whatever it is. It just depends on you know what, what it is that you do. But I am getting that vibration that you are going to be speaking up as a result of that and saying, no, this, this, this is my work. This is my blood, sweat, and tears. This has my name on it. You, you don't get any, 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 uh, you know, any, what am I trying to say? Recognition for that. You can't put your name on what I do. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Uh, and, and standing up for yourself in terms of the coworkers in your environment or your boss or, or whatever. You're not going to let it go down like that. I do feel like whatever this situation is, there's definite confusion going on here because whoever is, 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 I feel like there's manipulation, okay? So whoever's doing that, they're doing a really good job at manipulating the situation and confusing everybody in the process. And you're just trying to get it straight. You know what I mean? It's almost like... Uh, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Remember that cartoon? Inspector Gadget. He's inspecting everything and putting all the dots together to try to, to solve that mystery. Okay? Um, if you have to cut people off, you will. I, I don't see any hesitation there whatsoever, especially when you are protecting what is yours. I feel like there is this strong desire to protect what's mine, what I've worked for, what I've built, okay? And again, this could be professionally, this could be personally, this could be romantically. Um, so you'll, you'll be, you know, ending things if, the, if that needs to, to happen, with people, with places, with situations, with conversations, with relationships, or you're going to be ending this situation by doing something that needs to be done to put it to rest and just cutting it off. Um, so, so that's good. I do feel that uh, I'm feeling this strong sense of um, Career is very important to you. Your career, the roots in your career, and your legacy, okay? And I really feel that a lot of you are in careers where you really want to set down roots or grow roots over the long haul. This is what you want to do. This is what you want to be known for. Ain't nobody getting in the way of that. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm feeling like there there is definite talks around career, around life purpose, around your passion, around new developments of where where you want to take it. Uh, and I feel like there's conversations around this as well. Okay. Um, I, I just heard writing up new contracts. That's interesting. Can you see that? Writing up new contracts. So some of you are either redoing contracts, you're reevaluating the nature of your association with someone or an organization, partnerships, whatever, uh, drawing up new ones, changing the terms and conditions, um, especially if you end up cutting something or someone out, maybe you end a business partnership or a contract or a deal and, uh, and you extricate yourself from that and then you, you know, write up a new one or, or go in a new direction with it. Okay, so that could be like business and career for some of you. Others of you, these contracts could be something else. It could be something personal, romantic. It could be the sale of something, um, the bill of sale, something with contracts. I, I don't, I mean, for everybody, it's going to be different. But writing up a new contract, and I feel that you are going to be the one taking the initiative on that because yeah, something's going on here that has really s sobered you up to... I don't know, to, to the snakes in the grass, the wolf in sheep's clothing, to somebody who is trying to tarnish your name or your reputation or trying to take what is yours. And so the writing up in the new contracts feels almost like it's a, 
like it's a um, preventative, you know, it's it's on the defense. You're just getting all your, your paperwork, your ducks in a row so nobody can come in and cop, you know, copyright laws, plagiarism, stealing what's yours, stealing your concept, building it themselves, making a lot of money on it, that kind of thing. Um, and again, that's not going to be for all of you. Just use those examples to, 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 to your own life and y you'll see what I'm saying. So new contracts, new writing, new contracts. Interesting. Conflict. Uh, your intuition is definitely going to be heightened and sharpened after this, the, this situation blows over and, you know, especially for Aquarians. Aquarians are pretty psychic and intuitive as it is. So if you're if something is shut down in you now and you didn't see something coming, then I think you're going to be wanting to get back in touch with yourself on that on that front. Like, how did I miss this? You know what I mean? Maybe I've been so busy in the 3D world, jumping through hoops and trying to make things happen that I've lost touch with my psychic and my uh, intuitive side. And therefore, now I'm a sitting duck for anybody who wants to try to come and take advantage of me. So yeah, there could be some meditation going on here so that you kind of open yourself up. It's a grounding exercise for yourself so that you feel more in tune to everyone and everything around you so that you can prevent this from happening in the future. What else? Okay, so you, you probably can't see it. Rainbow and arrows going this way. Um, this is an indication to me that something's going to be divinely guided for you in the near future. There's going to be clarity that comes in here revolving around a situation that you've been working through or dealing with other people who are trying to sabotage you in some way uh, and, and reclaiming what is yours. And I feel that there is divine timing coming in here, divine guidance, um, pointing you in a new direction, bringing you information, synchronicity, serendipity, that kind of thing, dropping little nuggets of wisdom on your path so that you can, you know, utilize that to your advantage and, and, and full steam ahead. And it's almost like spirit is going to be, you know, downloading information to you, Aquarius, that's going to help you either make a new decision or point you in a new direction. And the rainbow is indicating that this will have, be a good outcome for you. It'll be a good outcome, a good decision that's made. But you got to trust spirit. You got to trust the information that comes in. And you got to be open to receiving it. So if your intuition has been shut down, then you definitely want to be doing some meditation work every single day, sitting quietly with spirit and, and connecting so that, you, so that you are opening your channels to receive the messages that are trying to come in for you in the near future. Um, so anyways, I'm going to stop there just because I know the other readings are a little bit longer. I, you know, I, I just have... I have like what six more to do or five more to do so um, I'm sorry I'm going to cut this one short I'm going to try to keep the rest of them short too because I've just got to move on so even though this kind of seemed like a little bit a little negative a little heavy or whatever I think the ending of it with, with the rainbow and the divine divinely timing and guidance and put, pointing you in a new direction that is what's key here so whatever it is that you're working through just know that this is the muck and the mire you know what I mean and the Jerry Springer shit show that you have to work through learn the lessons that you need to learn from that so that you don't repeat them in the future connect with spirit okay so that you get the guidance and, and the direction that you need to make the new decisions to point point yourself in a new direction and then in the month of September work on getting all your ducks in a row get your paperwork together your you know paperwork for business your personal paperwork your your documents everything that you need get everything in order and do anything that you need to do to protect yourself moving forward consult a lawyer get um, non-disclosure agreements get copyright um, stuff whatever it is you need to do to protect yourself protect your career protect your work especially uh, because I feel like there's some copycats out there or people who are trying to steal your work and pass it off as their own it just depends on what it is that you do okay so whether you've got a YouTube channel people are stealing your videos your photographer people are stealing your photos your writer people are stealing your writing or your ideas uh, you're a graphic designer at a big firm and somebody sees something that you're working on and they steal 
the idea and go and create it, you know what I mean, and take credit for it. It can manifest in so many different ways. Um, but yeah, I, I really feel that there is this kind of rude awakening going on for Aquarius where you, you have to protect yourself out there in, in the big bad world because it's all competition and it's all ego and everybody's scratching to get their way to the top. So so don't leave yourself open and vulnerable to, to your brilliant ideas that come out so that anybody can just come along and take them. All right. Just focus on the rainbow at the end of the month. Well, it's not even going to be at the end of the month. This can come in at any time. The, the, the sooner that you're open to spirit to receiving, okay, the sooner the rainbow will come. The sooner the, the divine guidance will come and you'll know what direction you need to move into. Uh, but you got to do that work, the meditation, the connection, the sitting quietly with spirit every day and just allow yourself to get back in touch with yourself and the flow of energy and the flow of divine source and you will, you will get the situation turned around faster than you realize. Namaste Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, by the way, my scheduler is closed right now. I'm not taking any more readings. I'll let everybody know when the scheduler is reopened for self for self scheduling. If you'd like a reading, you can send me an email. The email's in the description box below. Put in the subject line, um, reading request in capital letters. I'll get back to you. I'll put you on the list. We'll hook it up. Uh, but other than that, scheduler's closed. Love readings are coming for September and October. Uh, I'm going to announce those. I'm just getting them. I'm going to get them done. I'm going to put them up as I get them done because I'm behind. And those of you who are waiting for readings, I'll be in touch with you soon. And I think that's about it. Come on over. Join us on the new Facebook page too. All the information you need is down below. Mwah, mwah. Have a great week. Week. Have a great month, Aquarius. I don't know where that came from. Have a great month. We'll see you soon. Bye.